Lama Lama loves camping. Lama Lama loves camping. I'm excited to go camping tomorrow, Lama Lama tells his friends. He's never camped overnight before. Neither has Nelly Nu, Luna, Kilroy, or Uslid. It will be super fun, Mama Lama says, and Grandma Lama and I will be with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Lama Luna. Nuts. We will be out in the open under the trees and skies, and we won't have any kitchen or house things like a refrigerator, an oven, or lights, says Gilroy. Uslid looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. <gasps> we can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Lama. We are just going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things that we really need, but don't worry, Uslet. It's only for one day and night. The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Lama. Lama Lama and his friends cheer loudly. Everyone has one bag except for Uslid. He is carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. Ah, that's a lot of essentials, Nelly says with a laugh. Okay, campers, says Mama Lama. Let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Uslet pulls out a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug the route into my directional device, he says. Remember, Uslet? Lama says kindly. No gadgets allowed? Uslet sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets is go not going to be easy. Mama Lama leads the campers along a trail in the woods. Wow, says Lama looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are. Uslid says, can I measure them with my digital tape measure? Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds me. Oh yeah, Uslid says. When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Lama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature, she says. What do you hear? Lama pauses. I hear a bird chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, says Luna. I hear a tree crackling, says Gilroy. Neely points to a bee. I hear him buzzing, he, she says. I hear all that too, says Uslid, and I hear water flowing in, in the distance. The sounds in the woods are very different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nelly. Those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, 
Wee you, wee you, she laughs as her imitation of a siren. Uslip pulls out a tape recorder and a camera from his bag. I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Lama smiles at Uslip. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything, she says. Oh, I forgot, says Uslip. This no gadget thing is tougher than I thought. After the hike, Lama and his friends helped Mama Lama and Graham set up the camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they have a roaring campfire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Lama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little more. Later, the campers eat delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandma Lama, handing out sticks. Do we just eat these? asks Gilroy. No, says Graham, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them in the fire. As the sun sets, Everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than a dessert you make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, says Uslet, but it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in the nature, he adds, with no gadgets. Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they are all tucked in, Mama Lama has an idea. Listen, let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend they are music, she says. The campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling, they hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they are all talking to each other, says Lama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up, feeling refreshed. Mama Lama and Graham are very proud of Lama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job, cheers Lama Lama. You didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you, Uslet says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. The other campers agree. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nilly asks. We sure can, says Grandma Lama. But first breakfast. We can use my electric waffle maker, says Yusuf. Oh, wait, he adds. That's a kind of a gadget, isn't it? He's made it this far without using machines. He isn't going to stop now. The end.